finally we made up our mind how we want this entrance and we wanted to add some hooks this golden hooks are from target i think they are very pretty and i think it will be a nice warm tone with this wooden shaft and with this wooden houses and it will just add a little bit of a decoration to the entrance but i will have everything off of the floor so it will be easy to clean We've been in this house for three months now and we are still trying to figure out the layout of the living room since we have this fireplace right in the middle it's kind of tricky to find the perfect spot for everything so I moved this table to the other side but I quickly realized <laughs> that we like it more on the other side where it was originally because this is the corner where the kids like to learn and it's just more cozy to them so I bought it back. There's a hard water built up in the toilet when we moved in and finally I'm getting around to clean that <laughs> and I just wanted to share this stone with you. This is amazing. It's made from porcelain. Just make sure you use some water with that but it cleans everything. It's perfect for those rings in the toilet. It works like an eraser. And I know you guys are going to ask for the link so I will leave it down below in the description box for you.
morning guys for today I'm going to bake and cook and clean a little bit because we have three birthdays in the row <laughs> so I want to make the house a little bit more festive that's why I bought this so many flowers and I got some food that we really like so I want to just make it more festive around here I want to make some food that uh, we really like and it's special finally we have some nice weather as well so it's a perfect timing <laughs> going to use some salt to scrub the skin of these fruits because I'm going to cut them up. I want to make an infused water. about this little oven over here and I've been using this for the majority of the time <laughs> actually only this one at this moment because our new oven it doesn't work yet because I only tried once and then we have to reset something so we have to pull out the whole entire oven <laughs> so yeah we haven't done this because this one's serving really well and 
the only thing with that I can only put two layers in there and that is very difficult so if I'm doing a bigger baking I just want to bake more like right now I have the cupcakes in and I have the cake shape is waiting on the countertop so it would have been nice to bake them together but I can't but that's the only downside and it doesn't happen too often and for that case I have this big oven once it's up and running again but usually I just use this little one this is from Costco but I find it on Amazon as well so I put it in my Amazon store and I will put the link down below there but I just love this little oven Okay, so I decided to put those little flowers or plants in the window. I really love it there. And I'm making the lunch. We have some leftover meat and I'm going to make some goulash. So I have the paprika, the base for that. And I have some potato that I'm cooking to have this with this meat for uh, lunch. And then I'm cooking this very simple, it's just a frozen broccoli and I put some minced garlic over it that was dried and some coconut aminos and guys this tastes so good this amino sauce can make everything taste good <laughs> I'm going to cut this and I, I'm going to put some strawberry jam in there and I'm going to make some pudding on the top and maybe a jello topping with some fruits and then with this one I have some coconut cream that I'm going to whip up 
and I have some oh I've been hiding it here <laughs> so this is a freeze dried strawberry and this is what I'm going to put on the top I actually I have some raspberries too these are pretty pricey so I don't buy them too often but it's so nice because I can just crush them and mix it into some um, bars that I make so it tastes really good and it looks really nice so usually I just buy it for occasion, but this is really a fun thing to use. Okay, so I burned that one, so that won't be served. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that with some jam, but... Oh, jeez. But here are the drinks. So this one has lemon, lime, strawberry, some mint and star fruit. And this one is, it has cucumber, rosemary, lime and mango. The soup is almost done. So if somebody wants to have some savory food, I still have to make the frosting, but it's it has to be done um, right before I serve that. And over here, I already started to work on that. So this is the one I've got. It's got the cal cauliflower pretzels. It is gluten-free and it's really good. I got some chips. This is not something I would normally buy, but for this occasion, it's really neat. It's got all kinds of colors. So it's very, very pretty. And I think it's gonna be really cute with this flower. And I got the pretzels. I've got the potato pancakes and I'm gonna have the soup and I'm going to have some fruits. Guys, I have the cake. I don't know how it turned out, but we'll see. Here comes the top. And this is gonna go on the top of the cake. So I got the chocolate cake with raspberry jam and the vanilla pudding on the top. So I am going to take this off. Hopefully <laughs> it's going to come out as I envisioned. And I'm going to put this on the top. Okay, we are about to start to celebrate, so I have a couple of last minute things that I have to get done. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!